right first and foremost i'd like to give all praises and glory unto the heavenly father yahweh basham yahushai basham kakadash like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone who well who teach us this truth through the spirit and power yahweh basham yahushai peace and salutation to the akim them out there pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth is the brother quara from trinidad camp coming to another lesson to feed the lek at the house of israel you so-called negroes latinos and Native American Indians. Now, I'll entitle this lesson The Gods of the Nations are Vain. Right? They are vain things. They cannot help, they cannot do anything. And they're going to lead two thirds of our people to destruction. Because they turn from the power that delivered them from the house of bondage, from the, from the, the land of Egypt, from the house of bondage right and they're going back to do evil after the lord had delivered them and give give them his laws statutes and commandments that you know exodus thou shall have no other gods before me right you see what they did and what's the outcome we end up back in bondage as the scripture said in deuteronomy 28 right if we ain't hearken to the voice of your Basham Yoshai, the Lord gonna bring these curses upon us. And you see, by worshiping idols, we end up in this low state. And the Lord made these other nations the head. And he made He made us the tail. Because basically these gods are the nations is nothing. They vain. They cannot do anything. They cannot give riches. They cannot put one to death. They cannot give life. They cannot do anything right what is our power the living power of the god of jacob god of abraham isaac and jacob give our glory unto them so is the lord your Basham shai does what does increase in riches right who make a poor man rich right so is the lord give them our glory not their idols the idols is vain cannot give anything so it's our power the living power your Basham Yahushai, right? Give them thou wealth. Right? Because the curses brought upon the children of Israel, you know, for being disobedient and worshipping their false gods. Right? Start off with this precept. There's um there's Deuteronomy 6 and verse 12. He said, Then beware, lest thou forget the Lord Yahweh Basham Yahushai which brought thee forth out of the land of Egypt from the house of bondage. Thou shalt fear the Lord thy God and serve him and shall swear by his name. He shall not go after the gods of the gods of the people which are wronged about you. Because you know, China Israel been scattered to the four corners, to the four winds, east, west, north, south, right? And we're serving amongst these heathens. We in the midst of these heathens that have their 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 false gods. As the scripture is saying um in Micah, is in Micah 4 and verse Micah 4 and verse 5. He said, For all people will walk everyone in the name of his God, and we will walk in the name of the Lord Yahweh Basham Yoshai, our God, forever and ever. So you see these other nations, they have the power. They have the gods. What they do they serve, which their gods are no gods. They are idols made by the hands of men. Vain things. Right? So you see two thirds of our people is in the midst of the enemy. And they're serving their gods. Right? You would see Jake, Jake. And they were the scriptures say, our ox know it is owner and ass is master crib. But Israel do not know, they do not consider. Right? Jacob will consider nothing. Right? To show they, that the animals, you know, more, 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 more smarter than more smarter than they. Right? There's um Daisy letters of Jeremiah 1 and verse 25. 
I'll start at verse 25. You see that things wherein there is no breath are bought for a most high price. They are born upon shoulders, having no feet, whereby they declare unto men that they be nothing worth. And you see where they're carrying them on? Hey, the, the shoulders. <laughs> right? Verse 27, he said, They also that serve them are ashamed. For if they fall to the ground at any time, they cannot rise up again of themselves. Neither if one set them upright can they move of themselves. Neither if they be bowed down can they make themselves straight. But they set them, they set gifts before them as unto dead men. Right? So you see, they had to carry their gods. Right? From the flood. Right, the, 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 the gods cannot save the self. Right? Then what kind of god is that that you are to carry he? Right? Back in the letters of Jeremiah 1 and verse 57. He said, Neither are the gods of wood and laid over with silver or gold able to escape themselves, able to escape either from thieves or robbers. Who, whose gold and silver and garment wherewith are they clothed? They that are strong take and go away with all. Neither are they able to help themselves. So their God can not help themselves from the flood. Right? They had to carry them. Right? And even though, you know, the flood take them. Right? They had to go back and clean up the gods. Wipe him down from all the mud and all the filth upon them. They had to clean their gods. Right? And these things tutors our people, you know, into idol worship. Right? Verse 59. Therefore it is better to be a king that, that showed his power or else a profitable vessel in an house which the owner shall have use of than such false god. So it shows that in a way, a teacup in your house better than these idols you serve because that teacup gonna make some a hot cup of coffee for you, hot cup of tea, right? And it gonna be useful for you because you could drink tea out of it. But where's the purpose of these things all you have upon all your shoulders? Where's it, where's it? right? It is, it is nothing, right? Reading on, we'll start over, right? Let us Jeremiah 1 and verse 59. He says, Therefore, it is better to be a king that showed his power as a profitable vessel in an house which the owner shall have use of than such false god, or to be a door in an house to keep such things. So it shows that the room, all you have these idols in the door, better than it. Right? Right? Reading on. Therein than such false gods or a pillar of wood in a palace than such false god. Alright? So it, it, your door better than it. Right? Because so your, your door have a purpose. To close, to keep you in. Right? To let you out. But where's the purpose of these idols? That you had to take care of it. You, you had to feed it. Right? There's Jeremiah 10 and 1. You say, Hear he the word which the Lord, Yahweh Basham Yahushai, speak it unto you, O house of Israel. Right, so the Lord speaking unto his people, the house of Israel, the Lord chose you out of all people. The Lord chooses the one vine. You so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, you all are the Israelites. The Bible speaks of. Right? And here the Lord saying, right? Verse 2. Thus said the Lord Yahweh. 
Basham Yoshai, learn not the ways of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathens are dismayed at them. For you see, hey, they're worshipping, the heathens they worship the stars, the moon, you know, anything. Right? And you're seeing Jake's today following these things. You're seeing Jake in Christianity, Jake in Hinduism, Jake in 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 um Islam. You're seeing Jake's in all manner thing. Doing all manner evil. <laughs> right? Then return into their power. Then return into the living God. You know? Right? They with them are Solomon 13 and 11. He said, No, a cap, a carpenter that 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 fell at timber after he had sown down a tree, meet for the purpose, and take it off all the bark skillfully, round about, and had wrought it handsomely, and made a, a vessel thereof fit for the service of a man's life. You know, you make trees, cut down trees, you can make a house, you make a, a boat, and these things, right? And after spending, after spending the, the refuse of his work to dress his meat, had filled himself and take and taken and talking, so like, and taking the very refuse among those which serve. To no use, being a crooked piece of wood and full of nuts, had carved it diligently when he had nothing else to do. You see why it's up all the idle hands, all the idle, idleness. Put them to work, the two, the idle, the two idle. Now nothing to do what we want to do. Yeah? You find a whole piece of wood where nobody didn't want to use, nobody had no use for it. You, you, you take your time. And you carve this diligently. Right? A whole rotten piece of wood. Full of nuts. Right? And carve it diligently when he had nothing else to do. And form it by the skill of his understanding. And fashioned it to the image of a man. For made it like some vile beast. Laying it over with vermilion and with paint coloring it red and covering every spot because we look at some of these idols that have the, 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 the shape and fashion and all kind of vile beasts right or in the image of a man <laughs> as, we, as we see in any picture there right verse 15 he say and when he had made a, a covenant, a, sorry, a, a convenient, and when he had made a convenient room for it, set it in a wall and made it fast with iron, for he provided for it that it might not fall, knowing that it was unable to help itself, for it is an image and had need of help. So that big, big God. In need of help. Hey boy, hey, the living power your Basham Yosha is not to say like you know he need he need us. The scripture say hey, hey the Lord say he can raise up stones to worship him. Right? But these idols need help. Right? The, the woman carrying she idols from the flood, the man carrying he idols on his shoulders. Right? They, they their God need help. Right? And you jakes are no shape. They the things you jakes as worship. Right? Verse 17. He said, Then make it. Then make it. He pray for his goods and for his wife and children. And is not ashamed to speak to that which had no life. And they two thirds of people, you will see them in church kneeling down to, to, to Blondie. Kneeling down to the, the, the blonde here and the blue eyes man. Right? Kneeling down in front of the image. Asking for things. Praying. Right? 
Like if it's going on answer them back. Right? <laughs> they are no day, they are no shame to speak to something that had no life. Right? And they would they would see a, a vagrant or a mad person on the streets and call and call the vagrant mad. A lot of these hey, vagrants and them, you know, hey, some of them in the right mind. Right? But you would look at them and say they're mad. But you don't know how to dress. You don't know what to eat. You don't know your power. So who mad? Who you mad? Two thirds of our people, all you mad. All eating all kind of unclean meat. All you don't know how to dress. Right? All you worshiping idols. But all you, all you, all you are no shame to call people mad. And what do you think you all that worship? What do you think you all that serve? What calling people mad? Right? Verse 18. Right? Back to the wisdom of Solomon 13 verse 18. For he call it for, for health. Yeah. So like, Verse 18, he says, For health he call it upon that which is weak. For life, pray to that which is dead. For aid, humbly beseech it. That which had least means to help. And for a good journey, he asks it of that which cannot set a foot forward. What they, what they pray for? Life, health, strength, riches. If they're going somewhere far, they pray to it. You know, for me to reach safe. You know, guide me. Right? And this God can't do anything. Right? And for gaining and getting and for good success of his hands, accept ability to do of him that is most unable to do anything. <sighs> so a lot of these Edens feel that when they're praying to their power, they're praying to their idols, and the increasing in riches or the thing in. It's not their idols did that. Right? It's our power. Did that. You nations, the Lord count as nothing. And you all become to be lords over us. And to devour us. Because we disobey our power. We disobey the living God. The God of Israel. Right? The God of Abraham, Isaac and Jacob. And end up in this low state. So it's not your idols, your idols worship. That put all you up on high. Is the most high. Yahweh Basham Yoshai. The God of Israel. The God of the Israelites. Not the idols you all worship. Right? But soon, hey. The Lord about to hey, destroy you all. You all going into slavery. And the Lord going to put his people back on top. Right, as scripture say, second Ezra 6 for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follow it. Right? The Lord ain't gonna carry our way into into captivity. We're gonna be in our right minds. We're gonna serve the Lord in righteousness. The Lord said in Ezekiel, you know, you're gonna sprinkle clean water on us and he's gonna cause us to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. Right? So Jake's gonna be. In, 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 in his perfect mind. No more worshipping these idols. Right? There is wisdom of Solomon 15 and verse 4. He said, For neither did the mischievous invention of men deceive us, nor an image spotted with divers colors, the painter's fruitless labor, the sight way of entice fools to lust after it and so they desire the form of a dead image that had no breath right but it, it, it ain't gonna deceive the elect yeah? the elect not gonna be deceived by these by these vain gods because <sighs> the elect gonna praise the living power the elect gonna turn from the from the wickedness right and serve the living power and they're going to be showed mercy. Right? Because the scripture says in Isaiah 55 verse 7, Let the wicked forsake his way, 
and the unrighteous man is taught and let him return unto the heavenly father for the most i will abundantly pardon right so the don't the elect gonna return back unto your abasham and serve him in spirit and in truth right read on to verse 6 wisdom of solomon 15 verse 6 he said both they that make them they that desire them and they that worship them are lovers of evil things and are worthy to have such things to trust upon so two, two, two thirds of our people are always lovers of evil things right so where thing gonna happen when you love evil and you're always occupied in an evil where you think you're gonna receive where you think gonna come to you Right? They were the scripture saints in second Ezra, the Lord knew all of them that sin against him. Therefore he delivered them unto death and destruction. And they were coming to two thirds of our people. That turn from Yahabasham Yoshai. That despise Yahabasham Yoshai or despise the laws. Right? <laughs> that was set before thee. Right? When Moses said, choose the, choose the life. But Lord, I our people hey, all they choose death rather than life all these lovers of death all these lovers of evil things right you know now with that i hope it was edifying i like to give all praises and glory unto the heavenly father yahweh basham yoshai basham makakadash like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of a great millstone as well Peace and salutation to the Akims and Mori who pushing the gospel in sincerity and truth. This is the brother Quara saying, Inshallah.